Welcome back to yet another video. My name is Ollie, and I'm here today to talk about this not brand new but still one hell of a cool guitar uh, ESP LTD James Hetfield signature snake bite seen here in snow white. Uh, this guitar has been out for a couple of years now, if I'm not mistaken, it was introduced in 2016. Um, and it of course uh, joined the family, um, as some of you know, James Hatfield is notable most for playing his ESP guitars over the years. Of course he has, you know, played a lot of different guitars, but nowadays and throughout history we identify with ESP guitars. So in terms of the current lineup, you can get the uh, Snake Bite, which you can get in this snow white finish here. You can also get it in satin black. Uh, or black satin, I think ESP call it. They switch things around for some reason, don't ask me why. Uh, you can also get the Vulture, which is a Flying V style guitar. And you can also get the Iron Cross to an Eclipse Les Paul style guitar. Uh, previously, there was also the Truckster, which is a highly sought after guitar. I always get people ask me if I can order them one. The answer, unfortunately, at the moment is no. Your best bet is to find someone who's willing to let go of one. Good luck with that. Anyhow, so as I said, this is the Snake Bite. So it's available in both the LTD and the uh, ESP Japanese Custom Shop version. I'll run through the main differences and you know why you would look at getting them, um, or why would you look at getting this instead, um, in just a short while. But first of all, like I said, it's one hell of a guitar. Normally I try and focus on brand new guitars, but over on my Instagram page, everybody kept was. Um, kept asking for one, an ESP video, and two, specifically the snake bite, so give the people what they want, I say, and I've had a lot of fun with it today. <laughs> start off with the body specs. So this is, as you can imagine, quite a heavy guitar. It's very, very long. It's made entirely out of mahogany as well. Um, controls are very, very simple. Uh, being a heavy metal guitar, we don't have any tone controls. We've got uh, a volume control further away, which um, of course controls the bridge pickup. And we've got a neck volume control right here. So no need for tone. A lot of people don't use them. so. There you go, James Hetfield is one of those people. Uh, we've got a three-way toggle style pickup selector, which of course is... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, bridge. Middle. And neck. And that takes us to the pickups. So this is the EMG JH, or James Hetfield signature set of pickups. Uh, they are modelled after the 8160 combo, which he is very, very famous for using, with just a few tweaks to sort of bring them into his, um, his realm of sound, I suppose. Uh, the main idea that he wanted to do with these pickups was to get that active pickup sound, but with passive, passive pickup clarity. Uh, of course, being active pickups, they are always going to be, you know, that higher output. You are going to sacrifice clarity a little bit, uh, such as what you might might expect with you know passive pickups such as you know something from C1 Duncan or Demasio or the huge variety of other pickup brands out there. But I think if you're looking for something that's going to give you that classic James Hetfield Metallica sound then clearly this is it.
So these pickups here, you can see they're in sort of like a black chrome finish, which uh, matches the black hardware, which takes me to the uh, bridge and the tailpiece. So this is a Tone Pros uh, Tunematic uh, and Lock Tone, um, sorry, Tunematic bridge and Lock Tone tailpiece. Lock Tone basically meaning there are tiny little grub screws you can use to basically fix the tailpiece onto the string posts. Now, not the string posts, I should say, the, the stud pieces. What that does is that it increases the amount of string sort of um, resonance you're going to have um, between, you know, sorry, not, not resonance, increases the amount of contact you're going to have between all the different bits, which from the strings vibrating makes it vibrate more with the body, and you get a very, very resonant guitar. Um, this guitar is actually very... I don't know if you can hear that properly, hopefully you can. It's a very, very loud guitar, which no doubt has something to do with, like I said, this huge chunk of mahogany we have here. Um, I think that's everything to do with the body. If I um, flip it over the back, you'll see we of course have a uh, battery uh, cavity here, um, which you know, of course being active pickups, we do need to have that nine volt battery. Make sure you don't leave these guitars plugged in. Um, don't leave the lead plugged in when you're not using it because that will activate the battery circuit. A lot of people do that and they run into um, issues as you can imagine. Uh, so we have a three-piece mahogany, so the, um, the neck is matching the body on this guitar. Three-piece mahogany set neck design. Um, so no, it's not through neck, it doesn't go all the way through, but it works for this style of guitar. Uh, yeah, three pieces on this, on the ESP version. I'll highlight the differences as I go. You get a one-piece, solid piece of mahogany on that one. Um, so look, there is something to be said about using three-piece. Some people will tell you that it gives you a bit more of a um, secure, stronger you know, piece of timber. Uh, but there are some people that will tell you by having the one piece of mahogany you do on the ESP guitar, um, you're going to get, again, a bit more resonance. So depends what you're looking for. here so this is a very very cool feature I love that we're getting sort of this Explorer style guitar we are getting these you know classic dots but we're also getting this very very cool snake bite inlay here on the 12th fret um, extends from 11 12 to 13 very very classy I think it suits it and makes it very very striking in case the guitar wasn't striking enough already uh, so we are sporting 22 extra jumbo frets on this. As always, I very, very... <coughs> That's a strange way to start it. As always, I really, really enjoy extra jumbo frets. I love being able to play into something and really rip into it, which you absolutely can do on this guitar. Uh, so we've got these 22 extra jumbo frets. It's a Mikasa Ebony fretboard. Um, Again, the difference between the LCD and the ESP, you just get what's called an ebony fretboard on the um, ESP version. Basically means it's a, probably a bit more uniform, a bit darker, but, you know, as, as on this guitar and many other LCD 1000 series guitars with Mikasa Ebony, it looks great. It does look very, very nice, but you know, you're going to be paying a lot more for the ESP version, so you want to notice those differences. Uh, before I forget, this guitar does also come with a 24.75 inch scale length, or 24 and 3 quarter, uh, which of course is associated with, you know, the Les Paul slash Eclipse style models, um, specifically the Iron Cross, you would definitely expect it on, um, but you know, being an Explorer style instrument, of course we do have that scale length as well. Um, so yeah, if you're familiar with that, um, it's going to feel great. Um, even if you're not, spend a bit of time, get used to it, and of course, you know, it's going to be a great playing guitar, um, as it most definitely is from my experience. Um, another thing before I also forget, in 2016, when they first introduced this guitar, it did not come with a hard case. I think it was in 2019 they changed that. Now you do get an ESP, nice form-fitted hard case. The price did come up a little bit but well worth it because A, it saves you from trying to find a case that will fit it, and B, it looks great as well. So that's another thing.
We've got a, it's a thin X, sorry, thin, thin U shaped neck, neck profile on this guitar as well, which is quite typical of ESP. Um, I like it. Typically I'm a Jackson guy, so I'd say that these um, U neck profiles are a little bit thinner than that, but not quite as thin, nowhere near as thin as an Ibanez, sort of like a wizard neck profile or something. Um, so. Yeah, I quite like it. It's a gloss neck as well. Some people get a bit worried about it getting sticky. In my experience, I haven't had that problem whatsoever. The only time you will run into that is if you're sweating very heavily under stage lights or if it gets wet. But in terms of just everyday normal playing, you're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Moving up to the headstock. So on these guitars, we are getting a molded nut. Now, they don't exactly specify what the material is made out of on the LTD website. But I can only assume, as I have in the past with my EC1000 video, a molded nut is made out of plastic. Not the, you know, not the most incredible material for in terms of your tone and your sustain, but it does the trick and it's easily something you can upgrade. You can spend, you know, 30 to 60 dollars getting a bone nut crafted, or you could even get something like a graph tech nut as well, which is very, very popular and great if you don't want to use bone as well. So look. What, whatever it's made out of, it does the trick. It looks like it's cut nicely. I'm not really getting any... I don't get any buzz close to the nut, so... Kudos to you guys. Um, now we've got this very, very distinct... It's sort of like a harpoon-style headstock. Sort of reminds me of an Ormsby in a way, the way that the string almost goes over the cutout here. Very, very striking. Looks very, very cool. But probably the coolest thing, besides the James Hetfield signature truss rod cover, is this badge style LTD logo here. It actually, it, it, it is attached to the front of the headstock. It's not something that's sort of a graphic, uh, which of course is the same on the ESP version as well, except it says ESP and not LTD. Very, very cool feature. I think it looks very, very sharp, matching the rest of the guitar as well. Uh, spinning things over, I've got LTD locking tuners. Um, as always, you know, it could be nicer. Some people have criticized me in the past of saying it would be nice to have, you know, Goto or shallow locking tuners. Um, I don't think it's, you know, me falling for a brand or something. I think, you know, brands that specifically make their own parts are going to be higher quality. Same as a Floyd Rose. You're obviously going to prefer, you know, an original Floyd Rose or an original shallow or Goto bridge over a, a licensed version of it because you know the care and the quality and the components aren't going to be there so in saying that off of my sign tangent these are LTD lock and tuners do do the trick it stays in tune excellently especially because we're not having that sort of three aside style headstock it's six in line the string pull is relatively straight between the nut and the string post so uh yeah I think I've whizzed through all of the um, specs quite quickly there um, in terms of our upper fret access in the front, we do have a very, very small bevel here um, up near the sort of 22 to 19th, 20th fret, which makes it easy to get up here. Um, I've got fairly big hands as well, and I can easily get my pinky up to the 22nd fret. Yeah, guys, it's, um, <coughs> it's been something that's very, very fun for me to go through. Uh, you know, it's a guitar that I've always really always eyed off, always had a bit of a thing for, but to be honest, I've never really picked it up and had a good go on it. So um, hopefully you dig how it sounds. For the sake of this demo, it comes with 10 to 46 Diodario strings out of the factory. The ESP version, it comes with the same gauge strings, but Elixir strings, if I'm not mistaken. So um, 
Yeah guys, please let me know what you thought. If you'd like to see something, you know, a little bit different next time, I'm always open to your criticism as I have been. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more because there's more coming out every week. There's a lot of exciting stuff as well. Otherwise, this has been the ESP LTD James Hetfield Signature Snake Bite uh, in Snow White and it's also available in uh, Black Satin. Thanks so much for checking in guys, my name's Ollie, and I'll see you next time.